right here so today's video is going to be a full review on the new main choice line the heavenly glow line which looks like this I bought the whole line to try out for you guys so without further ado let's just get right into it I show you a demo and then the reviews at the end so make sure you watch the whole video so you get my true feelings on it so let's get started again this is the main choice heavenly halo line it's the herbal hair tonic and soy milk deep hydration the whole point of this line specifically is deep hydration so in the front of each of the products they kind of had claims and they basically all say that they um, restore hydration levels delivers instant moisture, drenches dry, thirsty hair with instant hydration, like it's just mostly hydration claims. And so my hair is naturally dry and I was really excited to try this line because I wanted to see if this line does what it says for one, but also treats my dry aloprosity hair. So the first step was the pre-poo, which looks like this. And it claims to gently melt away tangles and softens hair, reduces moisture loss, restores hydration levels in dry, thirsty hair, helps to minimize breakage and shedding, and restores natural luster and shine. And the instructions was to massage onto dry hair, and then um, wait five minutes, and then detangle um, your hair with your fingers, not with a comb, and then leave it on again for 15 minutes. So in total, using this product for 20 minutes. So that's why okay five minutes is done so it now says use fingers to gently loosen tangles I kind of see why it says to use your fingers I wouldn't use a comb because my hair is still dry well like I feel like I have product on my hair but my hair still like it feels dry so don't use a comb if you use this pre -proof. I usually pre-poo with um, cheaper conditioners or just oils that's laying around, but when I saw that they actually had a pre-poo, I was excited about it. However, one of the, the ingredients, I noticed that coconut oil is the third ingredient, and I do not like coconut oil, so I was really hesitant at first. Um, so upon using this, I realized a couple things I could do without this pre-poo. So this is $15, $14.99, and I felt like after applying it onto my hair, it didn't really add any moisture. I could barely finger detangle. I could, but barely. I couldn't really get into my roots as I would like. Um, and because it said to to apply onto dry hair, that kind of bothered me because I couldn't really detangle as thoroughly as I usually would. And the reason why I felt like it said to do the detangling with your fingers is because it knew that it wasn't saturating enough for a comb. So I was actually kind of disappointed about that. And I feel like you could use a cheaper method of a pre-poo. You could slap on some cheap regular conditioner. You could use oils that's laying around in your house. I think this is a waste of $15. It's not necessary. And I also feel like the amount, eight fluid ounces, is not enough for a pre-poo. Um, this already feels kind of light to me after one use. So this is not something that I liked. I actually don't like the pre-poo. So moving on to the shampoo, the claims are non-stripping, thoroughly penetrates the hydrate from the inside out, restores hydration levels and dry thirsty hair, imparts long-lasting moisture and shine, leaves hair feeling soft and tangle-free, helps to minimize shedding and breakage. So I only use this product once, so I don't know about the minimizing shedding and breakage, so I'm not sure about those claims. I do agree that it's non-stripping. I felt like this was a very moisturizing shampoo. It had a great lather, as you see in this clip. It had lathered very easily. It did leave my hair moisturized, tangle-free. I don't really think so. Um, it was okay. Like, my hair felt soft. I don't think I would keep the shampoo just because my scalp did not feel clean. It felt moisturized but didn't feel clean so I figured a shampoo should be something that makes my scalp clean. Oh this was $15.99 so this is actually $16. So I mean it's a good moisturizing shampoo I think it's good to have but I have other moisturizing shampoos that actually clean my scalp so I would think I will pass on this as well. Next, after the shampoo I used the deep hydration conditioner. It says to massage onto your hair especially the ends leave on to 3-5 to five minutes which I did. The conditioner was actually pretty thick. But the negative side of it was that I could barely detangle. It felt mushy, like soft, which is, I guess, a form of hydration. But it's not my favorite type of hydration. My curls weren't popping. 
it just wasn't anything special to me it does smell great though they all smell great but i'm not interested in the conditioner either so again i'll pass on that next i tried the main choice mask which looks like this this conditioner is not as thick as I would like. It's actually not that thick. It's quite runny. I personally like my my masks and deep conditioners to be thicker. So that's not something I really liked. This conditioner retails for $20. Um, for eight fluid ounces. My um, Shea Moisture Conditioners is also, I think, eight fluid ounces, either eight or 16, I don't remember, but it's cheaper than $20. So, that's something already. And I could not detangle with this deep conditioning mask. It just kind of just sat there on my hair. I did what it said and left it on for 15 minutes under a dryer. I had like my heated cap on. Um, then washed it out, nothing special. Again, main choice, main choice. I don't like it, I don't like the mask. Next was the softening milk, which I'm guessing is like their leave-in conditioner. This retails for $15.99, so $16 for a fluid ounce. The only thing that I pretty much like about that is that it has a pump, which is great. I love my leave-in conditioners to have a pump. I think it's okay. I think out, out of everything that I tried, from the pre-poo shampoo conditioner deep conditioner this is probably the only thing that was more decent than the rest it definitely does what it says it's softening i definitely felt that it added a different feeling to my hair than the rest of the products did i wouldn't say it was an extra moisture it was just like a softening like it just felt really soft like my hair feels like clouds but it still has a hint of dryness so just because your hair is soft doesn't mean it's moisturized so i mean this is not the greatest product. My hair, my curls weren't popping as much as I am used to with my Miel Organics products. It was just there. It's, it was just there. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'll keep this for, for $15.99. I have better products. I don't think I'll keep it. And then the last um, product as you were seeing in the video, I sprayed my hair with the Serum Oil Mist. It says it just adds amazing shine to finished styles, seals in and retains moisture, lightweight and non-greasy. Helps to mend my shedding and breakage. I guess the whole line is supposed to do that. Enhances textures and reduces frizz. And gentle enough for daily use. I don't think it really added any moisture. Or it didn't feel like a sealant to me. I kind of like my sealants to be more thicker. Um, I tend to like the Jamaican Black Castor Oil as a sealant. Because my hair is low porosity. And I kind of like things to seal and stay in. So I'm not really a fan of this either. This is $14.99, $15. So I mean meh i'm not no nah. so overall i'm pretty sure you can kind of tell by my lackluster attitude that i don't care for this line i came to the conclusion that i don't think this line is catered to low porosity girls i could be wrong it just wasn't moisturizing enough for me it just made my hair feel very mushy and very stringy and i couldn't detangle and just it just it just wasn't what I expected so I will be happily returning all these products because they are pricey nothing special if you have low porosity hair maybe this isn't for you maybe it's for high porosity girls I don't know um, I'm kind of looking at the ingredients maybe these foreign oils that's in here um tonga oil palmarosa oil yasha to mahadu root yucca root and burbock root oil maybe those oils are too foreign for me <laughs> maybe i'm not feeling it so i'm good on this they will be returned and that is the end of this review guys i hope that was helpful um if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below also i review products on my blog so make sure you go ahead and check out my blog on um, ambitionrights.com to see other things maybe i'll have an update for you guys after my hair dries after using these products maybe my mind changed maybe maybe not also where i will be reviewing the fenty beauty foundation and if you haven't seen that go ahead and check that out it'll be up here up here down there all around go ahead and check that out guys and i'll see you the next one bye